adding texture. You've got a tonally coloured drawing, we now want to make it look like something. So we're going to try and make our product look a little bit like it's made from wood. So I've got a piece of pine here, and you can see on the pine one of the key features of wood often is that you've got a grain lines. So here we've got some grain lines, and uh, you won't be able to see on the end, but there's actually some curved lines there, as if the wood was grown in the tree that way. And uh, these are the, uh, the rings that you see when you chop a tree down. So we're going to try and put some wood grain onto here to make it look like it's made from a piece of wood. Really, when you're drawing, to get into the uh, extended grades or to get into the higher level grades, you really need to be able to present your drawings in 3D, you need to be able to add colour, and you need to be able to add texture. And without that, you can't access these grades. So bearing in mind our piece of wood, we're going to look at this grain and we're going to apply the wood to this bottom block here to start with. So if we think about the grain that's on the wood here, we're going to use our pencil a little bit more vertical using the same blue that I've coloured the, the, the tone in. And I'm just going to press a little bit darker and I'm going to put a wavy line along there so it looks a bit like grain. You don't want it to be dead straight. And the other lines that you draw next to it don't need to follow them exactly. They can all be slightly different. But you can see that that grain would continue. So I might do that. On the end here, I may well have a little bit of the circular tree element. So I could put a darker circular curve a little bit like that. So I've done that bottom bit. I wouldn't bother putting anything on the dark side, it won't look right. We're going to do the same for the other bits. So the little short bit, it doesn't need to match up with this. I could put some little bits of grain in there. Like that. And again, I could have some grain going across there. And on the back piece here, I might actually have a little wood feature like a, a knot, which is where the tree starts to grow, in which case the grain will go slightly around the knot like that. And you'll actually have that sort of funny shape that will go round like that. And then again, you can just put your little curve on there. It takes a little bit of practice not to go overboard with it and put too much on. But it gives you an idea then that that is made, when you look at it visually, it is obviously made from wood.